hey loves welcome back to another video so today's video is the sewing of this bus caging so today's video i'm going to explain in detail on how to achieve a beautiful and a neat bus caging as you can see and a structured one so i've gotten a lot of comments saying when they attempt this bus caging they end up having a flat bus so but today i'm going to teach you the technique on how to have a curvy bust in the simplest way and in the fastest way so if this sounds like what you're interested to learn don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and also thank you to my new and my hood subscribers so let's get into it welcome back again so mates so guys this is what we are going to be working with okay so this is it this is the lining so go ahead and pad your lining the way i did you can see so you can use a color stay or you can use your normal pad that is your warden so what i use is my warden okay then you go ahead and rule out the lines where you'll be placing your bony so the bony you are going to use is a sewable bony which is a regiline bony so to have a perfect curve for your bustier what you are going to do is to place the bony like this okay to so make sure the curving part is facing upward okay so let's take it to my sewing machine and let's stitch it together so guys this is me on my sewing machine so just go ahead and place your boning like this so we are going to start with the vertical lines okay so i'm going to place my boning like this like i said earlier so make sure the curve is facing upward you can see so when you place it this way i'm going to just stitch it down like this so after stitching this part down i'm going to also do the same thing for these other lines okay so go ahead and place it like this so i want this video to be well detailed as in i want it to be well understood okay so go ahead and stitch it down so that is why i decided not to forward any part so just go ahead and stitch it down like this okay so we can see So at the center front also, I'm going to place a bony there. So when you are placing your bony, make sure the bony is well curved. If it's not well curved, you can use your hands to curve it more better, okay? So that it can give you that curvy bust you want. So this is just the technique in doing that. So just go ahead and make sure your bony is well curved when doing that, okay? So place it at the center front like this. You can see what I'm doing. So when you are doing this, you need to just take it very easy. So you can see where I'm stitching it down at the boning area. There's a part at that boning area where you have to stitch on, okay? So after doing that, at this bust area, you can see that this bust part is curved. So I'm going to show you how to do this part. So when you get to a part that is so curvy, you have to just follow the curve right there, okay? Don't make your bony straight at that part because you are working with a curve area. So you can see this bust area just take your time don't rush it okay so just take your time in doing this and make sure you follow the curve at that part So at this other part of the bust i'm also going to place my boning at that part you can see so this part also is tricky because it's curvy so just follow the curve at that part and make sure it's not straight okay so make sure your bonnet also is curved you can see the way i'm placing my bonnet so this is not as hard as you think this is easy this is, is simple it's just for you to just attempt it okay so when you are doing this you just need to be careful just follow the curve the way it is so that your bust can be curvy okay so after placing my bony there also at this part i'm still going to place my bony 
So you can go ahead and count how many bonies I added at the vertical area, okay? So you can add more bonies than mine if you want it to be more structural, okay? So I think for me this is okay. So I think the bony is okay for me. Okay, so go ahead and cut out all the SS threads so that it will look so neat, okay? So after working with the vertical lines, this is what the right side of the lining is looking like, okay? So you can see, so you can use your hand to push it out a bit. So now let's go ahead and work on the horizontal part of the lines so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to start with the bust point area so you can see that bust point area is curvy it's inside you can see so just follow it the way it is just follow the curve the way it is like that you can see that it's not straight so just follow it just the way it is like that and stitch it down so when you are doing this you have to just take your time and make sure you don't put your hand on the needle itself okay so that you don't get yourself injured so this is it this is what it's looking like now so i'm done with this part you can see it's already curvy you can see how it's already looking like so the next thing now to do is to place my boning at this other part and i'm going to also stitch it down so you can see this part. So I'm going to place my bony right there. And this part also is curvy. So just sew along. So if you have watched up to this length and you've not yet subscribed, please, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and support your girl. Okay, so this will encourage me to do more videos for you guys. Okay, so this is it guys, but this is not enough. So just go ahead and add more bonies to it for more structures. Okay, so for this part, I'm going to use this bony to close the edge of the vertical bonies at the top. Okay, like this. So you can see what I'm doing. So just go ahead and use it to close the edge of the vertical bony at the top like this. So after doing this, this is what it's looking like. So you are going to leave half inch at the top. So the seam you are going to use to attach the main fabric to the lining. Okay, so just leave half inch at the top. So the next thing now to do is to add my boning at this part. So you can see, so just use this boning at this part to cover up. But at the top, you are going to make sure you use a masking tape to hold the top of this particular boning. This part that I'm stitching down now, okay? Then there is a curve at the side of the balls. Just follow it gently the way it is. You can see what I'm doing. This part is a little bit tricky, okay? But don't panic. I got you guys. So go ahead and use it to cover up the edge at the bottom of the vertical boning like you see me doing like this okay so make sure you are careful with this so when you get to this part also you make sure you curve it just follow the line you made initially okay to give you what you want So guys, after that, you can see what it's looking like. You can see. So at this part also, I'm still going to stitch on the other side like this. So hold this down properly. So go ahead and stitch up this part to hold it well. Okay. So guys after stitching down the bonies this is what we are having you can see you can see how the inside is looking and this is what the outside is looking the main fabric so this is what the right side of the lining is looking looking so clean looking so neat so it's far better than a boss pad okay 
so you can see this is well structured so go ahead and iron it down using your tailoring ham okay so go ahead and iron it down at the right side and also iron it down at this part so the next thing now to do is to place my hemming gum so go ahead and place your hemming gum like this okay so go ahead and place as much hemming gum as you want okay so this is what you see me doing placing the hemming gum on this part like this So after placing the hemming gum, the next thing I'm going to do is to place my warden. So if you have a fiber, go ahead and make use of it. But for me, I don't have a fiber at this time I was making this video, okay? So I made use of the my warden. So after that, go ahead and iron it out. So after ironing, guys, this is what we have. And I've also gone ahead to trim off the excess. And this is it, guys. You can see how simple how neat and easy and fast it is so there's nothing there to panic about it's so easy you can see it's not as hard as you think so guys this is what we have and now i'm going to place the main fabric on it this way you can see to cover up the rough parts so if you have not seen the video of how i made this particular corset this victoria corset please go ahead and check it out on my channel and check out the drafting and the sewing parts so guys if this interests you don't forget to subscribe like and share this video i hope you learned one or two things from this video please always remember to support your girl thank you bye